Ireland's north coast. A world heritage landscape. Five minutes away as the crow flies, another world altogether. Fuck the shot. Bally Sally Estate on the edge of Coleraine. The toughest of places to be in the teeth of an economic storm. Just a breaking point, more or less. It has twice the national average of people on unemployment benefit. Who said wouldn't? Pay you to go out and work. Some who want to work can't find a job. Because there's so much unemployment, there's so many people in for every job. It's not just our housing estate, all housing estates are the same. Those who do work can still feel blocked at every turn. It all adds up, you just can't live on what they're saying you, you should be able to live on. But despite the poverty, the hardship and the Bally Scally nickname, this estate is far from broken. We followed the ups. For the times they are changing. I'm pleased to inform you that you've been shortlisted oh my for an undershoe. The downs. Them people were best stupid if they let you go. And the ups. Oh, this is my player. Of people in what could be the hardest year of their lives. This is the story of a year on the estate. Get your cup of coffee. Oh. Single mum Louise is Bally Sally born and bred. Only has about two. I only let them have about two. Mm. Didn't you? Mm. No. What are you putting in now? Milk. 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 Three year old Ryan is the youngest of her five kids. I just get up, and if they're up, fair enough. If not, I get them up. Get them the breakfast, dressed, and all, and they go on up to school themselves. Everyone except Jordan is at school. Oh, this is my player. It's a right player out here. Because I don't like, really like people touching my, like, my stuff, you know. Yeah. It's his 11th birthday today, and he didn't fancy it. Jordan, he had head. Below his pillows, in his bedroom, and wouldn't go to wouldn't get ready for school. He wouldn't go, but because it was birthday and that, I give him uh, down the door. Oh, don't. Right? <laughs> oh, I tell him that you have to go to school to get your education, to get a good job and earn money. And on the dole, you don't get nothing. It's hard enough. Look at me trying to struggle. On the door with five of them, keeping them and feeding them and clothing them and whatever. It is hard. Well, if I have two wings, it'd be easier. If you had two wings, it'd be easier. No, else on, it'd be harder. You need a good education to get a job, so. I don't want a job. You can't work, stay in the, you can't go on the door. Well then, again, there is no jobs out there for anybody. Really. <laughs> Martin's a chronic alcoholic. He drinks up to six litres of cider a day, every day. Sometimes I think about going away on a wee holiday, you know, just for a couple of days. What about Greece? No, I, I mean, fucking Raffin Iron, Blackpool or Port Rush or Iron is just dying just to get away for a couple of days, just a bit of space. You don't really see people out drinking in their gardens or they keep themselves to themselves a wee bit more. Um, I think it's a lot to do with probably pride in that and maybe they don't want to come out and just be known, but like an NAST I suppose. 
Emma's an alcohol support worker, and she's on her way to see Martin. I'm not just specifically looking to reduce their alcohol. Yes, if we reduce their alcohol, that's good. Yes, if we help with their living conditions, that's good. It's, you have so many options you can cover, you know, and it's about supporting people that haven't had that support before, and I think that's a great thing, and that's why it works, because you don't feel they're doing everything on their own. He's also got a friend up here that he thinks maybe could do with some help, so that'll potentially be a new client. Hello. Hey, yeah, I'm Emma. Nice to meet you, Philip. Emma, I'm getting a mountain bike. Where are you getting that from? Because a boy says the mountain bike that was 150. It was going to sell it to me for you. And I says, Is Have a look hot? at it first. I says, Is it hot? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm not buying it. So. Who's that? That's the boy about the mountain bike. Because I met him up the street. Right, okay. Martin's alcoholism makes him unfit for work. He gets nearly £200 a week benefits. That includes his rent and a disability living allowance to help with his alcoholism. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I'll keep me fat. Oh. Right, like a bottle of blue. Uh, it's, it's just your colours. Yeah. Do you ever say it's brand new? Uh-huh. Job done. I've been flying about all over the place. Just you stay sober, that's what I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, you wouldn't go down on it for a while. Probably not. Uh -huh. They need to make sure he doesn't no, get done for being drunk in charge of a bicycle. Wait, wait, wait. That's you me. Wait. I can go up and down the street right, faster. Right, faster. Uh, I'm going to be fat now. Yeah. And then I'll go take it after I've been a day. Then I'll go some of it. Hopefully that bike that he got will help him to kind of, it'll take his mind off because if he's going about and night he'll not be wanting to drink as much, you know, it'll clear his head and get on the bike and go away instead of going down and getting, you know, a drink. No, I'm going to get a padlock. I'm not stupid. Well, I tell you where to get the padlock. Well, you got my hairpiece. You've been on my case every f all fucking morning. You see, you're doping. You're not, you're not any smarter than me. You're 20 years older than me and you're doping. You sure, look at you, you're not even organised. I've only been here under a year. And I, I came in here with just a candle in the middle of that floor. I have not. They the police station and nobody will touch the police station. Ach, shut up. Nearly 3,000 people live on the estate, but the amenities are poor. go with two community centres, there's just one shop and a cafe. Upstairs from the cafe, Louise is learning how to decorate. It's a rare break from the kids. Open up to me, get you found. <laughs> Well, I like it. Come on here, meet Nana and no. all. Having a laugh, just. Louise has never had a job. She had the first of her five kids when she was 17 and has lived on benefits ever since. You just get income support for yourself and then you get child tax credit for the weans and child benefit for the kids. So that's about 300 a week. But it, by the time you get your groceries, is over £100 for food. And then trying to clothe them and you just struggle. Louise feels she's stuck in the benefits trap. I wouldn't pay me to work. It was the time you'd pay out for daycare and wants to keep the reins and all for you, there's it wouldn't be worth it. I can stand up. Back home, Louise's seventeen year old daughter Sarah. Is holding the fort. Brian, who's your mummy? Louise. Louise. <laughs> and who am I? Sarah. Sarah. And am I your brother or your sister? Brother. Huh? 
Yeah. Brother, about your brother. Fifteen-year-old sister Kellyanne is showing off her first tattoo. I wanted it one for ages, and then just thought I'll just go get it. I was going to get it on my face, but it means that if you get it on your face, you have to wait. I think two weeks. The tattoo, you have to wait two weeks until it, like, heals, so you can wear makeup again. So I don't think I'm going to get a tattoo on my face. So I don't. I have tortured my head. Get more. I need this, I need to have, I need to mess up. Can I just say well? I'll get it whenever you start going to school. In the mornings, it's just having to get up. And then, just don't like it. Like, it's alright whenever I'm there, but it's just getting up in the mornings. I don't, and then, like, by the time I get ready and stuff. Too late. That's what is. Kellyanne's constant refusal to go to school has brought an ultimatum from the education authorities. If she doesn't go, her mum could go to jail. Just at breaking point, more or less. Ready for the madhouse. God knows where I'll end up. Six feet under her. We're in fucking jail. We're the header. I was just sitting here waiting on my key burger. There, this is the start. The start of half eight as well. Gonna get out of Bally Sally. <laughs> Emma's on her way to meet Martin to help him sort out his benefits. I'm the only professional worker that they're involved with. You have to kind of deal with all those other social issues before you can even get to the alcohol. It's a bit like peeling back an onion, you know, really, like the alcohol issues are in the centre of that and it's an addiction, but then there's so many other issues surrounding it that are affecting that main issue. Martin's just had a back payment of £260 and isn't sure how to manage it. Right, okay. He received a payment today, just to double check yeah, kind of when he will next be getting paid. Listen, but I can pay my fine half easy. Right, so it'll go into spend count 25th, that's great. See him, I'm on the ball. Okay, that's grand, thanks very much. Bye. How much have you got at the minute till we work this out? Two hundred and sixty. What about sixty pound of the fine? That leaves you with two hundred pound, right? You pay take uh, forty out, and then that leaves one hundred and sixty. Right. right. So if we pay I sixty for the fine, but so I still today need groceries. The test, that's so on. twenty quid. There's a sixty. Right. That's for the fine. I'm gonna get a wee envelope. What about the dog? What? Do you want to pay a fiver for the dog too, or a tenner or something? Here, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to give you twenty pounds. Right. No, I'm telling That's you, I'm very, not very joking. thoughtful, but you know, no, you can't, I no. can't take that off you. Oh, you can. Unless he or thing. It's for you. They go buy girly stuff. <laughs> That'll get you most things paid off. So have a good weekend, and I'll see you Monday then. Right. Okay. Patient. That's one thing you need in this job. Is a lot of patience. You really do. It can be quite taxing at times. <laughs> I'll always give somebody a chance and, you know, not, because you never know, if you're not in a situation, you can never say, oh, well, I would do it like this or I wouldn't do that, because you really don't, until you are in a situation, you can never, like, condemn somebody or talk about the way somebody else is dealing with something because you don't know what you would do. I'm not bit of paid off my debts and stuff like that. And I've still got an alcohol addiction, you know. So, one thing at a time. The estate is mostly made up of council houses. Jimmy and Denise 
are among the minority who own their own home. Sometimes they'd say to me, you know, if he's in a hurry, any chance of a good fairy coming <laughs> to make his lunch? So sometimes I make it, but most times he makes it himself. Mummy, worry, he's going to do well. I've learned to do it myself <laughs> before. Mum used to always do it for me. <laughs> they both work full time. Denise is a classroom assistant. Jimmy works nights in a warehouse. So they don't see much of each other. I'd rather he worked through the day and stayed at home at night because I have nobody to talk to. Mummy, I'm lonely. So I would rather he had a day job. It's work, isn't it? He's always went to work at night. He's always went to work at night. At 6 p.m. At the end of the day, it gets me money to pay the mortgage and pop food in the house and buy the way and street, you know. So. A day job would mean Jimmy could spend more time with his family. I suppose there are times we'd like to have some quality time on our own. But, um,. I suppose it just boils back, isn't it? She's okay, isn't it, Lauren? That's, yeah. You know. Their nine year old daughter, Lauren, has spina bifida, so family life revolves around her needs. Both Lauren and younger brother Dylan miss their dad when he's out at night. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dom. I could be, I don't know, hopefully after. Hopefully half one or so, hopefully anyway, so. All right. Right, you want me a big hug? What, what about a kiss? No, no kisses. No. What do boys do? Shake hands. Shake hands, are you getting too big for kisses? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you got me. <sighs> right, you just be. High five. Okay, alright, I'll see you later then. <laughs> Okay. I know, right? Eh? It's not bad enough. But it'll do, right? Eh? I might sleep on here tonight. I might. See, that goes a wee bit by the curtains. But look, you see, I don't. I don't my intentions was I didn't want to be homeless all my life, you know. And I'm working fast. You know, I'm getting all organised. But, uh, you know what I mean? That's nuts. I'm good. You know? Now I just sat down with us. <laughs> Martin slept rough on the streets for nine years and became an alcoholic in the process. This flat is a fresh start for him. That's a wee house, man. Look, look, no, I mean, get up there, son. Come on, Bobby, Bobby. You have to, that's your seat. That's your seat. But well, I worked hard to get the house. Because I was getting sick of getting sick on the street. I'm trying to set up a wee relaxed environment. Everything's good, it's all great. You know, because I'm on DLA now. It's, the money doesn't matter, right? It's just the principle of thing. I don't have to sit down the street and make an idiot of myself anymore. That disability living allowance and a roof over his head have made Martin determined to give up the drink. I'm going to get rid of the poison. If I kept drinking the way I'm drinking, it would be very hard to be alive. That's why I'm getting ready. I'm getting everything. I need to keep myself busy before I do it. You need something to take your mind off it. It's going to be like everybody else, be a person. I hope I've got plenty of time in my life to sort out everything. Well, it's true. Back home, and her boys are in fighting form. 
feel like those might get up. You think you're going through the bottom ceiling? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I do go up and shout and roar at them, but it doesn't work. They don't listen to her, but they listen to me quicker, don't they? Ah, uh, they do. <laughs> Kellyanne is still refusing to go to school. This is just what I do all day long. I just sit and text. There's like nothing else to do. Apart from going to school, but that's not my thing. <laughs> so it's not. She knows her truancy could land her mum in jail, but it's not enough to make her go. Plus, I'm eating away there. Mm. Mm. Oh, if I didn't have him, I don't know. He was the best thing. You know, he's good out of company. And he doesn't talk back, huh? <laughs> After some time bracing himself, Martin has given up the drink. Bobby, look, look, look. Look, Bobby, sit, sit. No. No problem. I'm very observant. I just like meditating. I just sat and meditating. I seen a boy up there washing the car yesterday and he was washing it for about an hour. I thought he was going to take the paint off him. Uh, and these boys here, they park their cars exactly in the same place every day. And then people over there, they never pull their cars. They just keep them the way they are. And then their stickers stuck to their bottom window. Putting nets on. I'm dead paranoid whenever I'm coming off it. I would worry a lot about everything, you know. I would even worry about when's the right time to come off the drink because there's always appointments and it takes about three or four days, you know, so you're okay. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, but the temptation's there. Mm -hmm. There the night, so it has been. It's been, it's been better on there the night. Jimmy can clock up to 12 hours a night at the frozen food factory. He earns just over the minimum wage. After tax, now I'm probably about two, two, two sixty two or something like that, you know, just for an ordinary 40 hour a week, you know. I was better off having a job in the off, you know, because at the minute there's, there's nothing out there, you know, so. The guy wasted over 10 years of my life on the dole, you know, never any money. Keen for a day, broke for a fortnight, it was no good. I mind my mother, came up and she got me a kick up the backside, told me I'm going to be a waster and all. And I wasn't from my mother, like I, I could have been still maybe lying on the dole, wasting my life doing nothing, you know, that way. Don't. No, Mom. Don't. Mom. Mom. Bed. Ah! <laughs> 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 Bed now. 
Do you remember when you tell Daddy in the morning <laughs> how naughty you are? You're going to be really for it. Right, this is. Oh, ow, in you go. You know, he really does hate going out at night. He loves being home there, here in the evenings. And it's nice for them. Too. They love having him home in the evenings. I miss him in the evenings. I really do. He's been doing this night work now. Must be four years, five years. I still don't like it. I don't like him not being here at night. Here, I'll see you. Yeah. Strawberry, won't it? Ah. What can we do? He's got a job, so he's lucky in that respect. Luckier than a lot. But he has a job that we've both got jobs. It is hug, hug. Five fingers in shake. And chest mm. and hug. My nice. Love you. Love you. He's a real diamond. He really is. He works hard. He's so considerate. He says, you need your sleep. You you work. So he lies on the sofa every night. I put down a pillow and a duvet and, and it's so wrong. It really is. Three dollars, yep. I paid 34 a bottle to get for that young Molly, alright? 34, that's everything. <laughs> Just have to keep doing this until something else comes up, you know? Next time on The Estate. I want a move house today. What's she saying? There's, there's nothing at all. Whenever two wheels are gone, you feel like as if your whole life's over. There's no point me going to school getting an education if I'm going to come out and have nothing. Fucking sex is overrated, like. Right? Just when you get drunk. Be a bit foolish. You're right, anybody. Life on the estate continues. Tax credit for the wains and child benefit for the kids. So that's about three hundred a week. But it, by the time you get your groceries, is over a hundred pound for. Them. And then trying to clothe them and you just struggle. Louise feels she's stuck in the benefits trap. I wouldn't pay media work. It was the time you'd pay out for daycare. Wants to keep their reins and all for you. There's, it wouldn't be worth it. I can stand up. Back home, Louise's 17-year-old daughter Sarah is holding the fort. Brian, who's your mama? Louise. <laughs> and who am I? Sarah. Sarah. And am I your brother or your sister? Brother. Huh? Brother, am I your brother? 15-year-old sister Kellyanne is showing off her first tattoo. I wanted it on for ages and then just thought I'll just go get it. I was going to get it on my face but it means that if you get it on your face you have to wait I think two weeks. The tattoo, you have to wait two weeks until it like heals so you can wear makeup again so I don't think I'm going to get a tattoo on my face. So I don't...
die of torture in my head. Get more. I need this. I need to have. I need the next thing. Can <clears throat> you just say real? I'll get it whenever you start going to school. In the mornings, it's just telling them to get up. And then, just don't like it. Like, it's alright whenever I'm there, but it's just getting up in the mornings. I don't, and then, like, by the time I get ready and stuff, it's too late. So it's. Kellyanne's constant refusal to go to school has brought an ultimatum from the education authorities. If she doesn't go, her mum could go to jail. Just at breaking point, more or less. Ready for the madhouse. God knows where I'll end up. Six feet under her. We're in fucking jail. Over the header. I was just sitting here waiting on my key burger. There, this is the start. The start of half eight as well. Oh, awesome. I'm never gonna get out of Bally Sally. Followed the ups. <laughs> For the times they are a changing. I'm pleased to inform you that you've been shortlisted. Oh my For God. an interview. The downs. Them people would be stupid if they let you go. And the ups. Oh, this is my player. Of people in what could be the hardest year of their lives. This is the story of a year on the estate. Coffee. Single mum Louise is Bally Sally born and bred. I only has about two. I only let them have about two. Mm -hmm. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. No. What are you putting on now? Milk. 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 Three year old Ryan is the youngest of her five kids. I just get up and if they're up, fair enough. If not, I get them up. Get them the breakfast, dressed, and all, and they go on up to school themselves. Everyone except Jordan is at school. Oh, this is my player. It's a right player out here. Because it's, it's, I don't like, really like people touching my, like, my stuff, you know. Yeah. It's his 11th birthday today, and he didn't fancy it. Jordan, he had hid below his pillows in his bedroom and wouldn't go to he wouldn't get ready for school he wouldn't go but because it was birthday and that I'd give him uh, down the door oh Isn't that right? <laughs> oh. I tell him that you have to go to school to get your education to get a good job and earn money and on the dole you don't get nothing it's hard enough look at me trying to struggle on the door with five of them, keeping them and feeding them and clothing them and whatever. It is hard. Well, if I had two weans, it'd be easier. If you had two weans, it'd be easier. No, else it'd be harder. You need a good education to get a job, so. I don't want a job. You can't work, stay in the, you can't go on the door. Well then, again, there is no jobs out there for anybody. Really. <laughs> That disability living allowance and a roof over his head have made Martin determined to give up the drink. I'm going to get rid of the poison. If I kept drinking the way I'm drinking, it would be very hard to be alive. That's why I'm getting ready, I'm getting everything. I need to keep myself busy before I do it. You need something to take your mind off it. 
just going to be like everybody else, be a person. I hope I've got plenty of time in my life to sort out everything. Well, it's true. Louise is back home. And her boys are in fighting form. Really does matter. You think you're going to be through the bottom ceiling? I do go up and shout and roar at them, but it doesn't work. They don't listen to her, but they listen to me quicker, don't they? Ah, uh, they do. <laughs> Kellyanne is still refusing to go to school. This is just what I do all day long. I just sit and text. There's like nothing else to do. Apart from go to school, but that's not my thing. <laughs> so it's not. She knows her truancy could land her mum in jail, but it's not enough to make her go. Plus, I'm eating away there. Mm -hmm. Oh, if I didn't have him, I don't know. He was the best thing. You know, he's good at his company. And he doesn't talk back, huh? <laughs> After some time bracing himself, Martin has given up the drink. Bobby, look, look, look. Look, Bobby, sit, sit. No. No problem. Get your groceries is over a hundred pounds for food. And then trying to clothe them and you just struggle. Louise feels she's stuck in the benefits trap. I wouldn't pay me to work. It was a time you'd pay out for daycare and wants to get you keep the reins and all for you, there's it wouldn't be worth it. Someone who cares is the stand up. Back home, Louise's 17-year-old daughter, Sarah, is holding the fort. Brian, who's your mummy? Louise. Louise. <laughs> and who am I? Sarah. Sarah. And am I your brother or your sister? Brother. Huh? Brother, I'm not your brother. Fifteen-year-old sister Kellyanne is showing off her first tattoo. I wanted it on for ages and then just thought I'll just go get it. I was going to get it on my face, but it means that if you get it on your face, you have to wait, I think, two weeks. The tattoo, you have to wait two weeks until it, like, heals so you can wear makeup again. So I don't think I'm going to get a tattoo on my face. So I don't... Do I have torture in my head? Get them on. I need this, I need to have, I need the next thing. <clears throat> I just say, well, I'll get it whenever you start going to school. In the mornings, it's just having to get up and then just don't like it. Like, it's alright whenever I'm there, but it's just getting up in the mornings. I don't, and then, like, by the time I get ready and stuff. Too late. So Kellyanne's constant refusal to go to school has brought an ultimatum from the education authorities. If she doesn't go, her mum could go to jail. Just at breaking point, more or less. Ready for the madhouse. God knows where I'll end up. Six feet under. Her. Or in fucking jail. Over the header. I 
we're just sitting here waiting on my key burger. There, this is the start. The start at half eight as well. We're gonna get out of Bally Sally. <laughs> Emma's on her way to meet Martin to help him sort out his benefits. I'm the only professional worker that they're involved with. You have to. Emma. Hey, I'm Emma. Nice to meet you, Philip. <laughs> Emma, I'm getting a mountain bike. Where are you getting that from? Because a boy says the mountain bike that was 150. It was going to sell it to me for you. And I says. Have a look hot? at it first. I says, is it hot? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm not buying it, this. Who's that? That's the boy about the mountain bike. Because I met him up the street. Right, okay. Martin's alcoholism makes him unfit for work. He gets nearly £200 a week benefits. That includes his rent and a disability living allowance to help with his alcoholism. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I'll keep me fat. Oh. Hey, my fault. <laughs> yeah, I like a bottle of yellow and blue. Uh, it's, it's just your colours. Yeah. Do you ever say it's brand new? Uh-huh. Like uh Job done. I'd be flying about all over the place. Just you stay sober, that's what I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, wouldn't go down on his room. Why not? Uh -huh. They need to make sure he doesn't no, get done for being drunk in charge of a bicycle. Right there. That's me. I can go up and down the street faster. Right, faster. Uh, I'm going to be fucked now. The legs will go take after I'm going to do. Then I'm going to go Hopefully that bike that he got will help him to kind of, it'll take his mind off because if he's going to bite in it, he'll not be wanting to drink as much, you know. It'll clear his head and get on the bike and go away instead of going down again, you know. A drink. No, I'm going to get a padlock. I'm not stupid. Well, I tell you where to get the padlock. Well, you got my hair piece. You've been on my case every f all fucking morning. You see, you're doping. You're not. You're not any smarter than me. You're twenty years older than me, and you're doping. You sure, look at you. You're not even organised. I've only been here under a year, and I, I came in here with just a candle in the middle of that floor. I have not. the police station. Nobody will touch the police station. Ah, shut up. Nearly 3,000 people live on the estate, but the amenities are poor. To go with two community centres, there's just one shop and a cafe. Upstairs from the cafe, Louise is learning how to decorate. It's a rare break from the kids. Up to me, get your phone. <laughs> 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 Where are you? Bitch. Look, look, no, I mean, get up there, son. Come on. Bobby, Bobby. You have to, that's your seat. That's your seat. But I worked hard to get the house. Because I was getting sick of getting sick on the street. I'm trying to set up a wee realised environment. Everything's good. It's all great, you know, because I'm on DLA now. It's, the money doesn't matter, right? It's just the principle of thing. I don't have to sit down the street and make an idiot of myself anymore. That disability living allowance and a roof over his head have made Martin determined to give up the drink. I'm going to get rid of the poison. If I kept drinking the way I'm drinking, I, it'd be very hard to be alive. That's why I'm getting ready. I'm getting everything. I need to keep myself busy before I do it. You need something to take your mind off it. It's going to be like everybody else, be a person. I hope I've got plenty of time in my life to sort out everything. Well, it's true. Louise is back home and her boys are in fighting form. Really does matter. 
I do go up and shout and roar at them, but it doesn't work. They don't listen to her, but they listen to me quicker, don't they? Uh, they do. Kellyanne is still refusing to go to school. This is just what I do all day long. I just sit and text. There's like nothing else to do. Apart from go to school, but that's not my thing. <laughs> so it's not. She knows her truancy could land her mum in jail, but it's not enough to make her go. Plus, I'm eating away there. Mm -hmm. Oh, if I didn't have him, I don't know. I'll clear his head and get on the bike and go away instead of going down again, you know. I drink. No, I'm going to get a padlock. I'm not stupid. Well, I tell you where to get the padlock. Well, you got my hair piece. You've been on my case every f all fucking morning. You see, you're dopey. You're not. You're not any smarter than me. You're twenty years older than me, and you're dopey. You sure, look at you. You're not even organised. I've only been here under a year, and I, I came in here with just a candle in the middle of that floor. I have not. the police station. Nobody's touching the police station. Ah, shut up. Nearly 3,000 people live on the estate, but the amenities are poor. To go with two community centres, there's just one shop and a cafe. Upstairs from the cafe, Louise is learning how to decorate. It's a rare break from the kids. Well, I like it. Come on here, meet Nana and all. Having a laugh, just. Louise has never had a job. She had the first of her five kids when she was 17 and has lived on benefits ever since. You just get income support for yourself and then you get child tax credit for the weans and child benefit for the kids. So that's about 300 a week. But it, by the time you get your groceries, it's over 100 pounds for food. And then trying to clothe them and you just struggle. Louise feels she's stuck in the benefits trap. I wouldn't pay me to work. It was a, the time you'd pay out for daycare and wants to get you, keep the reins and all for you, there's, it wouldn't be worth it. I can stand up. Back home, Louise's 17 year old daughter, Sarah. Is holding the fort. Brian, who's your mummy? Louise. Louise. <laughs> and who am I? Sarah. Sarah. And am I your brother or your sister? Brother. Huh? Brother. Brother, am I your brother? Fifteen year old sister Kelly Ann is showing off her first tattoo. I wonder what I'm for ages and then just thought I'll just go get it. I was gonna get it on my face, but it means that if you get it on your face, you have to wait, I think, two weeks. The tattoo, you have to wait two weeks until it, like, heals so you can wear makeup again, so I don't think I'm going to get a tattoo on my face. 